he has a chance for a grand slam. Massey is tough, huh? He is tough as he eats nails for breakfast. Just like Larry Holmes. Yes, like Larry <laughs> Holmes. <laughs> His look-alike. Gilby's down by only six. Now by only five. Well, Joe, your feeling is correct. You know, you can see that the Gilbys are, uh, Gimlets are getting a little bit, to be a little bit tougher here in the third quarter. Cat characterized, of course, by Massey and the uh, defensive work that Watson's been doing on Ricardo. Good snapshot, though. Good screen provided by his uh, fellow teammate, Alolor. And that's because Jack Hakutin was the one who tried to cover Brown. Yes, he was just a little bit too late in switching off. 70-63, another seven-point spread for great taste. A wide arc over the head of Joey Carpio by Lou Massey. Gives him his 27th marker, and Gilby's is within five points. Black promptly stifles. 72-65, 2.33 left, third quarter. Slow dribble down court here by Willie Hannibal. They're going to their patterns now. Well, I also want to capitalize on the penalty situation that a great taste is already in, you know. That's why they're going to Lou Massey. That's right. Gilby's has only 14 fouls, and that was Lou Massey with his 29th point of the evening. And the great taste lead down again to only five points. Brown. Yes, and the foul from Willie Hannibal from behind. Brown is really terrific with his shooting uh, whenever he's free. Whenever he can shake off Watson, he can make it from any angle. We We've got two minutes and 9.2 seconds left the third inning. The score is 74 for Great Day, 67 for Gilby's. Ricardo Brown is on the stripe. Let's take a look at the rest of the lineups. Alalor, Victorino, Paguntalon, and Black for great taste. Massey, Clarinho, Watson, Hakutin, and Saldana for the red shirts of Gilby's. 30 points already for Ricardo Brown. And so, we have uh, Joe Alex Clarinho for Willy Henerelao. So actually, Alex Clarinho will be now be the playmaker, giving the ball to Lou Massey. No? Right now, a lot of pressure being asserted on him by Brown. And here is Lou Massey, who has just drawn Victorino and Brown. And a very hasty pass intended for Alex Clarinho, intercepted by Leo Pacuntalan, but the ball went out of bounds, so the Gimlets will keep it. Only five seconds left on their shot clock. So Masi has to get this one up. Short. The rebound to Black. 23 rebounds now for Norman. Clarinho. Alex Clarinho was gone for his second personal, and the 16th foul for Gilbys. Great taste is already over the limit. Climb down to a minute and 41, third inning. 75-67, great taste favor, Leo Paguntalan for the coffee makers, Ricardo Brown against Steve Watson. Overhead pass went to Lou Massey. Well, Norman Black was positioning himself, but the pass was just a little bit too high for him. He was still crouching when right. the pass was made. And here's Terry Saldana. Oh, he's not going to bet intimidated by Black, but he missed. Clarinho. Alex Clarinho goes out for Willie Henerelao, who just got himself a very brief respite on the bench. Four fouls because of Willie Henerelao, but only a minute and 19. Perhaps uh, Turing Balesona feels that he can control his fouls. And he needs Willie to give that ball to Massey. Oh, definitely. Nobody can do it that quick, you know. Good assist to Steve Watson, but Steve fails to come through. And again, Norman pulls down the defensive rebound. However, that was a bad outlet pass there. Willie Henerelao. In the right part of court, Jack Akutin. Willie. He's got to take the shot himself. Nope. Gives it off to Lou Massey. Drives inside heavy traffic and gets blocked from behind by Victorino. But physical contact was spotted by the referee under the goal. It was a very good umbrella-like defense, but the body might have got into contact. Let's take a look at that. Going baseline, we have uh, Massey. There's the foul that was called against uh, Manny Victorino, who was a little bit... Uh, that's a 10th straight point that Lou Massey has scored for the team. 10th straight, Jan. I've been counting that. <laughs> well, he's been keeping the Gilby scores above water in this game. 75-69. Great taste. Up by only six. And there is a shot of the upbeat president of the PBA, Honey Boy Palanca, who's also the manager of the Gimlets. Brown. Goes around and picks it up by Paguntalan. Gives it right back to Leo. Here's Alalor. He crashes inside. Fakes the fadeaway. Yes. Bingo. Good shot by Alalor. Just in time, too. 
77 to 69. That was a squelcher of a basket by Alejo with 24 seconds to go. Great taste up by eight again. General Lau knows it only too well. I think they'll settle for taking the last shot in this quarter. As much as possible if they can really set it up. Only 12 seconds. Big Blue goes to position, misses. The rebound to Norman Black. Only five to go. They still have time. Here is Alalor. Goes up against Massey. Got it. Yes, Alalor with back-to-back -back hits. Gives them a 10-point lead. Great taste. Had a last say in the third period, giving them a 10-point lead going into the home stretch of this. Let's relive that brilliant moment of Alejo Alolor in the dying second of the third quarter. You know, he had to sort of uh, make a fallout shot because he knew Lou Massey was there. It's good to have a very uh, slender body because you can do those kind of shots. Yes, something like uh, Andy Howe has <laughs> right now. 79-69. <laughs> We're on to the final inning. That's right. The last 12 minutes, the payoff quarter, call it whatever you will, it is the deciding period. It was a great chance for the Gilbys Gin to have cut down that lead to only six. They were down by 13 at halftime. They would have been happy if they had cut down to six, but now it's back to 10. And Lou Massey working off Victorino and drawing another foul from Manny. Foul oh no, it was attributed to Leo Paguntalan. Who came out to help, yes. Third foul for Leo. Blue Mass has been scoring all the points practically for Gilby's in this last few minutes. 79-70. Okay. Great taste lead down again to a single digit. Two for two by Lou Massey, who's been hitting his stride in the last few games and uh, playing his usual murderous role on the offense for Gil Gilby's. Ricardo Brown tried to get into position for his favorite shot and drew a foul from Steve instead. That's his third personal. Well, Steve had to fight the screen, and uh, Ricardo Brown was really being provided by double screens. Another guy who has perpetual motion in his movements, that's Ricardo Brown. Right. Beautiful example of motion offense. Eh? Yes. 79-71 after that failure by Norman, Norman Black. Lou Massey. Gets it into Willie Henerolao, and great rejection by Paguntalan. Here is Alalor, working one-on-one -on -one against Jaka Kutin. Oh, counter block. Okay, that's it. Two you seconds. lingered too long inside the paint. It was funny because earlier he did not get blocked by Lumasi, then by Marlo Hokotin. He was blocked, you know, who was about his height. But Marlo didn't bite into his fake, you know, and uh, Marlo just played good defense, had his hands up all the way. We're seeing some great defensive duels on both ends of the court. That's eh? right. A couple of black shots already here in the start of the fourth quarter. Here is Lou Mazzi. He's crowded. He's he frees himself. He barrels in and misses. Hakotin is right there. Oh, how could he have missed that one? Yes. It was a great oh, offensive oh, rebound maybe. over uh, Norman Black, but then he missed the shot. So the score is stationary at 79-71. Great taste hanging on to an eight-point lead, and Bogsa de Pato is being fielded in for Manny Victorino. 10.52 left in the ball game. That's going to put a, lit, a different guy on uh, Lou Massey in the uh, defense, so that might be Norman Black might have to go to Lou Massey now. Right. More scoring suck for great taste, but oh. less defensive work on the other side of the court. Ricardo Brown is unerring with his outside shots. Uncanny accuracy. You bet. Whenever he can shake off Steve Watson. 81-71, 10-29. General Lau. Ali U pass intended for Terry Saldana. He struggles to control. Lou Massey is there. Makes his move off Norman Black. Black stuck his knee out, and I know that was not the foul spotted by the referee. It was Alalor's foul. Massey again to the stripe. Easily the most fouled player tonight, eh? Yes, uh, he gets the ball a lot, you know, Joe. They really <laughs> have to go to him because uh, the other guys seem to not be able to score. Of course, Joseph Herrera can score, but so far he has not seen action in the third and fourth quarters. And I think the reason for that is because uh, Watson is doing a great job on uh, Ricky Brown. 